Hello guys, welcome to our new video. Today we have with us Mr. Bharat Vikraman who has just been placed in Cognizant Technologies with a package of 6.75 lakhs and has been got uh, Gen C next uh, as his job role. So welcome Bharat, uh, how are you? I am good. First of all, thank you for inviting me Jaisalain. Okay, thank you. So first of all, I want to congratulate you on being placed at Cognizant Technologies. Thank you, thank you so much. So, uh, how was your overall experience with uh, like the cognizant hiring process? It was quite good and it was a bit difficult also because the Gen C next profile is the topmost profile in cognizant. Uh, so, the difficulty of the exams and interview are a bit tough. Okay, but so overall, it's a quite good experience. Okay. So, uh, like it was whether it was an on campus or off campus drive? It is an on campus drive. I am from SRM Eastwood Engineering College, Chennai. It is an on-campus drive from Cognizant. Okay. So let us start with a, a brief introduction towards your like first round of uh, assessment with Cognizant. Like it was a written examination or it just started with uh, like um, interviews directly? No, there was an online uh, three hours examination. Okay. Uh, online mode only. There are, uh, there are there were lot and lots of subjects like uh, DBMS, Python. Uh, before, uh, while applying, they have uh, just asked whether you are familiar with Python or Java. I have uh, uh, inputted that I have uh, familiar with Python. So they have asked the questions from Python. If you uh, input the profile as Java profile, they will be asking the questions from uh, Java. Sorry, if, if you input the profile from Java, they will be asking the question from Java. For me, it's Python. So I got questions from Python, the DBMS and the HTML, that is the web technologies and some coding MCQ questions. And at last, uh, there was a DBMS query question also. Okay. So all of, the, all of them are the part of uh, online uh, coding test. Okay. So like uh, you told about that day, the coffee said asked about preferences, whether you are preferring yeah. with Java or Python. It was asked Python. like it was asked in the registration process itself or before just starting the assessment, you have to just tell your preference. No, no, no. During the registration process itself, uh, uh, they will be asking whether you are uh, okay with Python or Java. So, and afterwards, they will also be asking uh, with the uh, familiar uh, technologies like uh, big data or uh, advanced Python or Java. Uh, like that, there are uh, so much technologies while I'm applying for the Gen C next. From that, I have given the advanced Python role also. Uh, this will be useful uh, and this will be the questions from the interviewer when we are going to the interview section, but uh, it won't play a major role in the online coding test. In the online coding test, uh, just there are only two preferences, Java and uh, Python. That's it for the online coding test. And other than it, the normal coding DBMS questions, DBMS queries, uh, one, my, one mark MCQs. Uh, it all just bit difficult only. I, I will not say it is easy or maybe we can say somewhat uh, medium to higher level. Okay. So overall test was like moderate to difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That not will be a moderate or easy. It is overall a moderate to higher level it is difficult. Okay. Okay. So like because uh, we'll be uh, examining all these technologies within the three hours itself. There will not be any separate test for each technologies continuously with each section. You will be uh, having questions uh, like Java, uh, sorry, Python, Python questions in the sense they will be code, uh, coding MCQs in the form. And other than uh, there are also web technologies like JavaScript and some of the web technologies, uh, HTML, CSS also. And other than it, uh, DBMS. Okay. And the DBMS, uh, there will be both query in questions and also like theoretical part like normalization um, triggers the theoretical parts also. So these are the major content of the online uh, examination. So overall, how many, like it was based into sections or it was just coming up question by question? It is based on section only. First, I got uh, the coding section, afterwards the DBMS section, afterwards the web technology section. And at last I got the querying section. The querying section will be a bit, uh, there will be a questions and you need to query the code directly. Was it, uh, was it was an MCQ test or it was a purely like uh, pseudo code and coding questions? I MCQ in the sense, uh, 
there will be uh, based on coding only they will be asking the output sometimes the question itself will be reversed they will they will show the output from the options you need to find the coding question okay can you but, uh, the overall yeah. test was like we can say it as a purely technical one no aptitude and no english yeah, sure. pure, question pure and pure technical no no aptitude you are asking about the aptitude or communication no that uh, no aptitude or communication based it is pure and pure uh, technical oriented with uh, lots of subject Okay, okay, okay. So uh, uh, both subjective and uh, like competitive knowledge is required for cracking. Yeah, that. sure. Very much required okay. for the Gen Gen C next. Gen C next, right? Uh, Cognizant also hires for another roles as well. Like Gen C is also there, and Gen C a little bit right there is they asked uh, aptitude and uh, verbal questions as well. Right. Yeah, but, uh, the aptitude your... questions are in the Gen C elevate and Gen C, but uh, there is no aptitude questions in the Gen C next. of my drive uh, okay. maybe in the upcoming drive they will be included or not i don't know for the 2022 there is no aptitude for the gen c next drive right 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 so was the test time efficient or not mm, when uh, to be honest uh, it is very difficult to manage the time uh, but it is possible when you solve the answers very quickly it is possible we can solve all the questions in time but, but uh, we we need to solve efficiently that's the matter you, you should be very technically strong uh, before attending the uh, test or exam you need to pre prepare lots and lots of technical oriented things mainly dbms as i said mainly dbms coding questions uh, like that and yeah and also as well as query these are the three important things right right so you have mentioned some important topics for our 2023 uh, coming up batch Right, yeah. so they must get a clear idea like what they are, what the cognizant is going to ask uh, in its first uh, round of test. So it was like a proctored test, right? Uh, so which type yeah, of yeah. Plat which, plat which platform was used for taking up the test? Sorry, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can remember. That is metal platform. Yeah, so correct. Test was metal platform through test a metal pla platform. Okay, sure. uh was the passing criteria announced to the candidates or not immediately they won't be announced that uh, i have uh, heard the uh, result through my college only like okay. after one week okay so it took uh, like approximate one week to uh, for uh, the results to be announced for the first round of test approximately yeah then uh, after how many days the interviews were scheduled uh within the uh, within one week the interviews has been scheduled for me there was a batch batch by batch interview for me the first batch uh, so after the result has been announced with uh, from uh, the result date within one week i have been uh, scheduled for interview for the upcoming batches there are some delays like one or two days from my date that's okay. it so overall there might be uh, 10 to 15 days you will be attending the interview within the 10 to 15 days you will be attending the in the interview from the date of result has been announced okay okay so what type of questions were asked in your interview yeah Was as i like said uh, yes, yes yeah as i mentioned before uh, during the registration process itself they will be asking about your familiar technologies my familiar technology was advanced python uh, during the registration itself uh, they will show their criteria what are the things you need to know in this technology sir for me advanced python there are more questions like uh, data science based they uh, they will give a pdf regarding that what are the things you need to know while the registering itself if if you choose big data if you choose java if you choose dot net you should be referring that a pdf what are the things you should know before attending the interview you should uh, know all the things regarding that Okay, so uh, the, for me, advanced uh, Python. So it is the based on the data science, uh, like NumPy, Pandas. These are the things referred in the PDF. But in the interview, there will be a uh, questions apart from it. That's the so important thing. The PDF is provided yeah. by the cognizant itself, or your college has provided the. No, 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 no. Cognizant PDF. itself. Okay. So you okay. you can refer while registering. So you can refer all the things. Uh, everything will be provided in the cognizant uh, uh, website itself. Okay. You should uh, refer that PDF, and uh, you you should know which are the things you are familiar with. Uh, what I need to study extra. What I can register for that. Because uh, this is the important thing. You will be asked questions from mainly in that part only. Apart from this, I got questions for some 
questions from data structures and some questions from DBMS for reading like that. And uh, one coding question uh, you need to type. I got the Armstrong number. Uh, the, the, there should be the webcam on, the screen should be shared, everything. And the question, and up, uh, mainly Python question, uh, I got questions, uh, more number of questions from Python, that is the data science oriented questions. Okay, so during the interview, the coding question was also asked. Like you need yeah, to yeah. share your screen and write the code. Yeah. Okay, so what was the overall duration of the interview? Uh, the overall duration of the interview was about uh, 25 minutes for me uh, the upper schedule was about half an hour uh, my interviews was over at around 25 minutes 27 i think so yeah okay. so as we were discussing about the pdfs provided by the cognizant so that pdfs contain basically the requirements uh, uh, like which cognizant needs from the uh, from the candidates or there are preparatory questions or but but is the oh. content of that pdf like uh, what is present in those PDFs? Is there any notes uh, about it? Please tell us. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, that is not a uh, study oriented PDF or any content PDF. Uh, they will be just uh, showing that what are the skills you have, you should have, you should have just like okay. that. You should have the data science skills. You should have this skill, that skill, what are skills, just the thing. You should not, you cannot be able to study from that PDF. That is the list of things. Uh, the can basic we say, requirements. Like, example, yeah, uh, yeah, like the basic requirements. If you are uh, applying for a job through any website or LinkedIn, uh, they will showcase notes, like some of the requirements you need to know, some of the things you need to, that, that's in the PDF. Uh, because uh, there are more number of technologies, as I said, for each technology, there are separate PDFs respectively, that only. That is not a content PDF for, for studying, nothing. Just the skill requirements, that's it. Okay, okay. Uh, just I need to focus once again on the, the first test, right? Uh, I uh, okay. I missed few questions like to ask you from the first test. Uh, okay. How many total questions were there in the first test? Like you mentioned, it was a three-hour test, and how many questions were there? I guess uh, approximately one twenty questions. One twenty questions uh, comprising of all coding questions and DBMS and HTML. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, one twenty marks. Sorry, one twenty marks. Uh, the coding questions will have uh, more more marks, more weightage rather than the one mark MCQs. Okay, so but you many... don't know the weightage of. Yeah, yeah. You don't know the weightage of each question because I don't know at last uh, what is the weightage of each question. But total of one one twenty marks. Uh, for each section, they have a passing criteria. Okay, so like uh, it is an uh, elimination round. Every round is an elimination round. You you can access all the section within that three hours. Okay. Th there is no elimination in each of the round. You can access all the three uh, all the uh, four section uh, within the three hours. There is no after this test only access all the things. Unlike other uh, companies, uh, you can access all the things. Like Asanjay, okay. we can't access all the things because uh, for each round, there is an elimination round. Yes, uh, yes, that's why that I was asking. Like okay. Yeah, th that is not like that. Purely three hours, completely full-fledged test. Yeah. Okay. So how many coding questions were asked? Like how many questions were there in which you need to write the code, the actual code? Coding questions was uh, like uh, two questions. One was uh, medium and another was uh, higher level. That is okay. the tough difficulty. Uh, there are more number of uh, optional languages like Perl, Python, Java, C++. You can write uh, uh, the program with any of the following coding languages. That's not an issue. Whatever language you know, you can write your code. Most probably everyone will learn uh, C, Java, Python. This, uh, all these languages are available in that platform. Apart from this, there are also some more languages also like Perl, etc., JavaScript. Okay. So, and in HTML... Programming... For coding uh, and programming language is not an issue for this test. Anyone okay. can uh, take the coding question. Okay, okay. And in HTML, what kind of question was there? Like it was an MCQ test or uh, like you need to create a web page or write some code? MCQ test only. Most probably the JavaScript questions was higher. Like okay. you, you need to solve the code, JavaScript code. That is the web, web technologies. So what was our overall strategy for attempting the test? Uh, first of all, you, you need to strong with the programming language. Uh, as I said, uh, the question will be reversed in the MCQ. They will show the output. You need to 
uh, put up the answer from the following questions. The question, uh, questions will be of uh, lines of 10 to 15 lines of code. You should refer all the four options, 10 to 15 lines, and after that only you can answer the question. So you should, you must be technically very strong with any of any one of the programming language like Java or Python. And apart from this, uh, JavaScript also, uh, you, you should learn the basics of uh, web, U, web uh, UI, web uh, technologies. And apart from this, you need to strong in DBMS because uh, there are more uh, theoretical DBMS questions and also query questions. Query questions is a little bit higher level only, not just like select this, select this, join this. Uh, there will be more sub queries, multiple queries, nested queries in the form okay. of uh, nested you need queries. To, you, need to, like, you need to write the SQL queries. Yeah, yeah. Normally, it will not be like a single line query, more than two lines, three lines, uh, nested queries. Oh, okay, so how many questions were there out uh, from this uh, DBMS part? Uh, uh, that was my last section, actually. Uh, before that, I have the MCQ section in DBMS, and the querying section was the last section. Uh, I got uh, six querying questions. Six questions. Uh, and... That is also the level based. The first one, easy, medium, difficult. Okay. Two, 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 two questions, yeah. So level of difficulty uh, keep on rising question by question. Yeah, yeah. So so the weightage of the question also will differ as, as per the difficulties. You need not to expect the same marks for each question. The mark will be separate for each of the questions. Okay. It varies. So yeah. how many uh, like uh, oh, considering the overall like your attemptation of this first round of test, uh, how many questions you were uh, there to answer? Like uh, were you able to answer all the questions? Or you left out with some questions. No, and I can't able. Yeah, yeah. I can't able to answer all the questions, but just a one or two questions only I have left. But I have answered almost all the questions. Eighty to ninety percent, I can I can say. Okay, okay. So ninety percent of the question you attempted. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, the coding difficulty part only. For I have attempted all the MCQs, uh, all the question querying also. The uh, one thing, the main thing is uh, the uh, coding difficulty question only. I have struggled in that part. Yeah. Okay. 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 And out of the, that ninety percent which you attempted, uh, how much you were confident that you are correct on your answers? You were correct, like uh, all the ninety percent you were uh, correct on your answers, or you were you just yeah, yeah, really. I, no, no, no. I was really confident because I have trained uh, for this exam for more than two months. Okay. With joining the talent battle uh, full course master class course, uh, I I was preparing for this exam for more than two months, okay. so I was a bit ready early itself. I don't know about the question pattern, but I was uh, ready to answer any kind of questions, anything. So I was full fledged. Uh, almost uh, I made eighty percent sure that I will be selected for the next round. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Great. So uh, uh, it was really important to come back on the first round because I think. Uh, when we are considering a higher package, the first round actually plays more role, more important role. Yeah. Yes, because interviews are interviews will only come after you correct your first round of uh, test. Like, so that's why a few questions I more asked from the first round. Coming back to okay. now interview, we have discussed till technical interview, and uh, so now you must answer like, when did you got your results for the technical interview? And uh, when you came to know that you are shortlisted for the next round of interview, I was got the HR round parallelly. First, uh, the first half of the day, I, I I got the technical interview, and after then the same day, I got the HR interview. Okay, okay. So on the same day, results were announced. And uh, uh, could, but could... Uh, no, no results were announced uh, before itself. Uh, they have given the rules that uh, you need to attend the both of the interviews like that. Okay, okay. So both interviews because were... uh, th this was uh, happening parallelly, parallelly uh, so right. there will be no yeah right. So that only the results uh, there were no results announced. Yeah. So how many students said for the uh, this placement process, and how many students were left uh, uh, after uh, like first round of uh, the test? Could you remember any ratios like uh, how much a percent of students were uh, vanished just after the test and how much students were carried forward for the interview rounds? Yeah, first of all, uh, this is the Gen C next. Uh, the shortlisting was based on uh, two profiles. Those okay. who scored more than that uh, uh, equal to the next uh, package, they was uh, allowed to sit on the next interview. Uh, those who have scored uh, above the average, that is the elevate uh, 
passing percentage of elevated they were allowed to sit on the elevated interview for the next interview uh, the ratio might be 10 is uh, like 1 is to 10 we can say the for the next interview those are all attended the examination uh, the gen c neck for the gen c next profile uh, there was a resume based short listing also uh, that means uh, not all the students from our college was able to take the online test yes yes sure, as sure. you know last time yeah last time the cognizant has uh, uh, removed uh, removed uh, like uh, they are not allowed to sit uh, for yeah yeah they have separated so approximately like 200 to 250 people ha has been uh, uh, from the 500 to 600 members to 200 to 250 people uh, were uh, placed taking the online test and in that uh, our 40 members have been uh, selected for the interview okay okay yes the that flow is of cognizant uh, the flow of cognizant always matters like after you clearing clear the test you are not sure like you are uh, going to call for gen c uh, gen c uh, next uh, yeah, interviews yeah. or gen c elevate interviews right yeah because we don't know the mark and we, we are also do, we don't know the passing criteria also for each profile just yes. we know that uh, uh, after the results only we know and after the results also we don't know our marks uh, just with the profile uh, we are know we have uh, crossed the criteria of gen c next we have crossed the criteria of gen c elevate like that in that 40 people also only 20 people has been allowed to see, sit for gen c next interview remaining 20 people for the elevate interview okay so coming to the hr type of interview what questions were asked uh, any general questions like uh, you remember out of your interview round mm -hmm. So in the HR question, there was only the general questions only, not the any technical oriented questions. Uh, generally, our communication skills, uh, our soft mm -hmm. skills, uh, mm -hmm. they will be checking our soft and communication skills mm -hmm. only, behavioral skills like that. Any questions about you remember? Uh, what do you know about Cognizant? Why you need, why do you choose mm -hmm. Cognizant? Like the, like the questions they were asked. Uh, the HR interview was about only 15 to 20, 15 minutes, I guess, not more than it. Yeah. So 25 minutes for the technical one and uh, next 15 minutes for the SRO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some just on half an hour for between these two, not more than. Okay. But for the upcoming uh, remaining batches, uh, they were they were conducted the interviews uh, uh, on the next day or separate days only. For for first batch only, we have uh, uh, take the interviews parallelly, like uh, first uh, just uh, taking the technical interview and within half an hour to one hour, we were we want to take the HR interview. Like that. But the results were be consolidated only, like all the batches were uh, uh, took the interview and at last only we were got the result results. Okay. So when did you uh, came to know that you are hired and uh, like which was the happiest day for you? Uh, that is uh, September 9th. Okay. I have remembered that day. Uh, but I, uh, I took the interview at the end of August. Uh, it has been almost 15 days uh, for getting the results. For yeah. so have you joined the company now or are you are uh, waiting for your onboarding? Yeah, I'm uh, currently working as an intern in Cognizant. Okay. This is uh, Cognizant has an internship procedure for agency next. It is a compulsory internship. So I have okay. been working as an intern in Cognizant. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think we are and uh, we are till, uh, now at the end of our interview session with you. So the one question uh, I want to ask, uh, last but not the least, any tips or any tricks you want to uh, uh, tell to your juniors? Any advices you want to give to your juniors who are willing to join Cognizant as a Gen C next uh, profile? Definitely. Uh, first, uh, the Cognizant is hiring of two methods. First one is the Gen C, as usual, Gen C next interview. And another thing is the Gen C uh, nurture program. Most of the colleges got nurture program, but our college didn't get the nurture program. Uh, it is one of the, the first thing is the nurture program it is one of the best thing to join Cognizant. Uh, they will, because uh, they will be giving the coaching, uh, they will be uh, taking the interview, they will be giving the hands-on. So everything they will be provided by the Cognizant itself. And if you cleared everything, you shall directly get into the Cognizant. That is no online test or nothing, but you should want to attend the interview as usual. That is the best thing. And the second thing is the Gen C next. Uh, for this, uh, if your college uh, has not been uh, approved for the nurture program or you didn't get the nurture program, the second uh, thing is also the uh, Gen C next uh, interview. 
that is the ne next con campus placement uh, for this you need to prepare you need to be technically very strong uh, as i said uh, the uh, as i said the subjects like dbms web technologies and uh, uh, coding mcqs uh, th this is the basic thing you should be very strong in all these things and apart from this you should be strong in the querying and also coding at some extent not like very very too much extent but you need to know about some of that uh, medium to advanced level like in nested queries uh, in the form of nested queries and in the coding question also you should be able to solve some difficult questions you should be prepare, very much prepare before i while attending before attending the gen c next online coding test because it is also one of the toughest tests okay so now i think uh, 2023 uh, batch has a clear cut idea after watching this video, like what are they going to actually face while sitting for this hiring process of competency next? And actually, uh, it was a purely technical kind of interviews and or purely technical kind of test. There was no uh, aptitude questions were asked. So I think uh, we must polish on both uh, the skills, but uh, technical should be polished more if we are going to sit for this GNC uh, next, right? And Thanks. You should be uh, at least pre uh, started preparing the exam for uh, at least before two months. Uh, uh, so only uh, so that only you can prefer uh, prepare this examination as it is at, uh, one of the toughest. Yes, as uh, as Bharat has also told us, like there was a preference was asked before actually starting the process during the registration time. So you must polish uh, at least one coding programming language like Java or Python. Uh, in which you are going to attempt uh, the next of the rounds, right? Yeah, correct. So uh, thank you, Bharat, for being with us today and guiding and motivating our upcoming sets for uh, this interview sessions and uh, uh, how you, they can crack, actually, uh, they can crack and being your juniors in the call event as well. So thanks yeah. once again for joining the call. Thank you. Thank you so much, Justly. Thank you for inviting me and thanks to Talent Battle. Uh, you only helped me a lot to achieve this. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.